And now here is the winner of the very first American Comedy Lifetime Achievement Award for one of the most brilliant and inventive comedy minds of all time, and a really cute fella, star of the new show, Davis Rules, Mr. Jonathan Winters. Fantastic, Betty. <laughs> that outfit got me out of World War II. Her outfit. We're up in this area right now. We'll get them home. I, uh, I don't care whether you're wondering or not why I didn't wear a tuxedo. I'll tell you why. It doesn't fit me. Uh, it's a joy to see so many wonderful faces. A lot of them, of course, I don't know. And person always comes up, you don't remember me, do you? Well, when you've had a series of bad falls, don't. All right. I'd like now to get right on with it. I'd, I'd now like to congratulate. Boy, I'm really saluting myself for reading this far away. I'd like now <laughs> to congratulate all the honorees for this time this year's. Well, there are always a few impediments. This year's, there's no money involved. Why should I worry about articulation? <laughs> this year's. This year's Lifetime Achievement Award. Female. And uh, here, the, here, Beatrice Arthur, <laughs> Shirley MacLaine, <laughs> Penny Marshall, <laughs> Nancy Walker, <laughs> and the woman who received the most votes for this year's Lifetime Achievement Award, Miss Doris Day. As you know, Doris lives in Carmel and could not come to the theater tonight. Uh, I live in Bakersfield and I couldn't come to the theater tonight. At any rate, she couldn't be with us this evening and it is unfortunate. I think we all understand. Uh, it is, uh, you have to hop on that plane and a lot of, you know, traffic. We're, we're getting a lot of rain up north, so Hey, she's in her home and she's got lots of pets. I, I'm sure you people realize a lot of dogs and cats and they stopped her from coming. <laughs> Congratulations, Doris. Take this to Dover, you fool, and see that the king reads it. 